Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 11.1 .1, formulae, functional groups and terminology. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Please note I'm only posting half the topics in the syllabus here on YouTube. The entire syllabus is going up on my Patreon, link below. Also, the slides I use in my videos will eventually be available to download. Once done, I'll put a link to those in the description as well. Organic chemistry is the study of the structure, properties and reactions of organic compounds, which are the chemical compounds that contain carbon. Organic compounds can be represented by different types of formulae, including displayed formulae, general formulae and structural formulae. A displayed formula shows all the atoms and all the bonds present in an organic compound, giving a clear picture of how the atoms are arranged and connected. For example, the molecular formula of butane, C4H10, shows us the type and number of atoms in the molecule, but tells us nothing about their arrangement or the bonds holding them together. The displayed formula reveals this information. The four carbon atoms are arranged in a straight line, with each forming single bonds with four other atoms. Note that double bonds are represented by two lines, and triple bonds by three lines. A homologous series is a family of similar organic compounds. Examples include alkanes, alkenes, alcohols and carboxylic acids, each of which we'll cover in more detail later in the chapter. The compounds in a homologous series have similar chemical properties because they all have the same functional group. A functional group is an atom or group of atoms that determine the chemical properties of a homologous series. For example, all alcohols contain a hydroxyl group, represented by the chemical formula OH. It's the presence of this group that defines a compound as an alcohol and determines its chemical behaviour. A general formula represents the composition of all the compounds in a homologous series. Alkanes have the general formula CnH2n plus 2, alkenes CnH2n, alcohols CnH2n plus 1OH, and carboxylic acids CnH2n plus 1COOH. In each case, N represents the number of carbon atoms in the compound. Now general formulae can be used to work out the molecular formula of a compound if the number of carbon atoms present in the compound are known. For example, butane is an alkane with 4 carbon atoms and 2 times 4 plus 2 hydrogen atoms, so the molecular formula of butane is C4H10. Molecules in which all carbon-carbon bonds are single bonds, like alkanes, which have the general formula CnH2n plus 2, are referred to as saturated compounds. In saturated compounds, each carbon atom is bonded to as many other atoms as possible, meaning their bonding potential is saturated. In contrast, molecules in which one or more carbon-carbon bonds are not single bonds, like alkenes, are referred to as unsaturated compounds. The presence of a double carbon bond means that carbon atoms in these compounds are not bonded to the maximum number of atoms, and therefore have the potential to make further bonds. OK, that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. Structural formulae are similar to displayed formulae, in that they show how the atoms in a molecule are arranged, but unlike displayed formulae, single covalent bonds are omitted. Only significant bonds, like double and triple bonds, are displayed. For example, the structural formula of the alkene ethene depicts two CH2 or methylene groups joined together by a double bond. The structural formula of ethanol depicts a CH3 or methyl group attached to a CH2 attached to an OH, which is the functional group of alcohols. Finally, the structural formula of methyl acetate depicts a methyl group attached to a carbonyl group, which consists of a carbon-oxygen double bond attached to an oxygen atom, which is bonded to another methyl group. Structural isomers are compounds in which two molecules have the same number of atoms, and thus the same molecular formula, but have different physical and chemical properties because of differences in structural formula. For example, butane and isobutane are structural isomers with the molecular formula C4H10. The structural formula of butane depicts a straight chain made up of two CH2 groups in the middle and a CH3 at either end. The structural formula of isobutane depicts a branch structure, where the methyl group written in brackets is attached to the second carbon in the chain. 
1-butene and 2-butene are also structural isomers. Both compounds share the same molecular formula, C4H8, but have distinct physical and chemical properties due to differences in structural formula. Finally, you need to describe the general characteristics of a homologous series. So all members of a homologous series have the same general formula, the same functional group, and similar chemical properties. Adjacent members of a homologous series differ from one another by a single CH2 unit. For example, the alcohols ethanol, propanol, and butanol have 1, 2, and 3 CH2 units respectively. Finally, homologous series display trends in physical properties, such as melting point and boiling point. Well done, you just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 11.1, .1, formulae, functional groups and terminology. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon, where I'm uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 11.2, .2, naming organic compounds.